For, for kidney failure, as with, with all the cases, we need to know the, the severity of the problem and, and how the patient is handling it clinically. We usually think that if we go under 20 of GFR, the, there's not a lot that we can do for regenerative purposes. But if you think about what kidney failure is in the same way that we think about diabetes, for example, the problem is there, but but what is causing is a lot of damage around the system. So there's always target organs that are going to be affected by the kidney failure, by, by, by the accumulation of chemical substances that the kidney um, filters. So the, the stem cell treatment, the, the, the regenerative medicine treatment, uh, is going to be important not only for cell regeneration, if we have a GFR of over 20, but I think the most important part of the treatment is by helping support the rest of the system that is being affected by the kidney failure. You know, we're going to have problems with the blood vessels, we're going to have problems with the heart, we're going to have problems with many other systems that are going to be helped by the use of stem cells where we can, we can help the overall clinical uh, outcome of the patient with, with the kidney failure. Absolutely. Uh, my brother, for example, I'm, uh, uh, kidney failure is very close to my heart because I'm a kidney donor. I donated my kidney to my younger brother uh, when I was 23. He was 15. Um, it's been 21 years and uh, he, he's still alive and thriving. Uh, he's already back in, in, in kidney failure. His GFR is of uh, 19 when I started treating him again with, with, uh, with stem cells. He was in dialysis. And after six months of, of treatment with 50 million stem cells uh, in, in regular intervals, uh, we've been able to increase his GFR to 22. That might, that might not sound like a lot, but when you have a person with, with, with a GFR of 19, even a small improvement, it's a huge improvement when, when you're dealing with these types of, of news that your kidney is fa failing. So I think um, he's still in dialysis. We're, we're still hoping that there's going to be more regeneration. But as with many other chronic conditions, the, the amount of stem cells that you have to use is more than, than just 50 million or 100 million. The amount of damage in the body is going to require a protocol that's going to need uh, a higher amount of cells. So uh, we're still following him up and other patients as well, but the results are very promising.